What's up guys? So I got this board from skateshred.com along with some other boards and I want to test out and see how much grip tape you actually need. So in this video I'm going to be skating without grip tape and then in a future video I might be using these little small grip tape polka dots and I also want to see how much how much grip tape really helps skating. So when I first set this board up in the house it worked great. But once I got outside, they're working on the roads everywhere around. So there's this silica dust in the air. So the board started getting really dusty and then my feet felt like they were sliding around. It's almost, it's just as bad as it being wet when it's dusty. So a grip tapeless board with dust is dangerous. I'm surprised how much wear I've gotten on this enjoy board. I've only been skating it a few weeks now. So one thing I did, on my trucks was I wrote B and I wrote F for front and back. I put that on these trucks so I don't get them confused because when you switch your front and back truck it really messes with your skating. One thing I want to do in a future video is put grip tape over just part of the board. Maybe maybe like from here to here and here to here. Just like the part where your feet touch the grip tape mostly like not in the middle and not on the very tips and just see what that does. So I picked a board with pretty steep concave and a pretty steep nose and tail, but still, you can definitely tell that there's not a lot holding you on the board. It's about to start raining. Rain would be probably the worst thing. I don't know, it might be better than the dust. We'll see. So I skated the parking garage and it was so dusty in there that it was really hard to skate with no grip tape. It's hard to skate with rubber grip tape or anything in that parking garage because it is really dusty. You need, you need some really abrasive grip tape in there. So if you're just doing flat ground, having no grip tape, it works. It works fine. You could get away with skating with no grip tape and it's not like it's something you'd have to get used to. I'm not used to it so I can't you know skate that well with no grip tape but if you started out skating just flat ground with no grip tape you could get away with it but skating ramps you could skate ramps with no grip tape but it's going to hinder you a lot more it's going to be much harder to skate any kind of transition with no grip tape i've actually never skated any of these spots right here and there's some pretty pretty good spots right here uh, so I'm probably going to do a little bit more skating with this and then I'm going to grip it up for the next video the little pebbles are ganging up on me one little pebble got under my wheel and then another little pebble got in my hand so that's what it's like to skate a board with no grip tape I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this kind of content reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder. Hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.